I'm Julie. And I'm Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. In the last week's video, we left you where we had just moored up at Welford. This video continues from there. And if you want to know what that machine is, just check out last week's video. So, <laughs> this is what we have to do, folks, to stay warm on a narrowboat. We are now walking about half a mile, no, actually three quarters of a mile, to the nearest petrol station. And we're going to be filling up our two cans. Yeah, our two jerry cans, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh wow. Now. Look the yeah. That's normally a trickle, isn't it? Yeah. But it is in the summer. Right, here we go. <laughs> you have to be really careful as well because there's lots of leaves on the floor. <laughs> you twit. Yeah, it's alright while they're light. I bet you're not like that when we're coming back. Thankfully, it's all uphill on the way and it's downhill on the way back. <laughs> wow, look at all the flooding. It's all completely flooded here. Wow. This is normally a lovely little nature Nice swimming pool at the hotel. Look at this. What, mate? We've got a lovely swimming pool at the hotel. <laughs> the, the Beetle Retreatal. Yeah, with its own lake. <laughs> yeah, we're in the latest summer, storm. These in the winter, spring, and summer, these is where you can come see frogs, boots, yeah. tadpoles, things like that. At the moment it's the 27th of December and we are on the, well, we're just starting the latest storm. The winds are going up to 50 mile an hour later today. Um, I think they're already up to about 35, 40, so. And there we have Postman Pat and his black and white cat here at Welford. So windy. So two full cans and we're on our way back. That didn't take too long, did it? No, I'm quite happy with that. So this is the beauty and I'm boating in the winter. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, we love walking in a storm. <laughs> Rain and wind. We love it. <laughs> And we made it back. According to that, we are, that's a quarter of a tank there. So we're one above, so that's. So we're five, six, five sixteenths. That's how we so divide that it out. So that is five times three is 15 litres is left in there. So that wouldn't really have lasted. Probably would have lasted us three to four days. Well, three days easy. Yeah. This is what is known as a jiggle pipe, isn't it? It certainly is. Put one end got... into the tank. And jiggle jiggle with it. Let's get jiggy with it. Let's let the end of it. Oh, that's rumble, wasn't it? <laughs> so... right. You know, it's just not red diesel at the moment. We've had to go to the no, garage. We had to go to the garage and we had to pay full whack for the diesel this time. Ouch. Yes, ouch. £1.49.9. Good lord. 
that's a lot of money mm -hmm. but yeah so now that's filling the tank up that's going to take a good what 10 minutes or so to Try be one well. on. and then i had to we'll look at that twice one. you know i'm so used to red diesel <laughs> i had to look at that twice well, hey <laughs> <laughs> been a long time hasn't it since we yeah. it's only a die isn't it yeah it's only morning good morning <laughs> lovely wet damp <laughs> cold miserable <laughs> miserable warm <laughs> um now we've had a lovely christmas here at welford yeah plenty of um, family coming down to see us yeah and we're now going on our way we're going to be cruising to north kilworth yep. marina and we're going to take you with us we're going to spend the new year there aren't yep. we so. but i will say if ever you're down this way the Welford Arm, down the bottom, you've got the Wolf Inn, yep. up, which is just behind us. Yep. Couldn't recommend it highly enough. Like it's lovely atmosphere, lovely food. Yeah. And it's if you can get down here where we've been, I mean, it's on your doorstep. You, you know, <laughs> yeah, you don't really have far to stagger back. I think oh, we've been working our way through the menu, haven't yeah, we? Mate? <laughs> No, highly recommend Too it. convenient. Really, no? <laughs> Too convenient. Yes. <laughs> but no, we've had a great Christmas. We want to get moving because we know we want to get up to the marina before the high winds this afternoon. Yeah. So. And it's about to start raining as well, so we need to get going. Yes. So, so we'll take you with catch us. Catch up with you later. Yeah. Bye. And Martin's just pulling the pins out and giving them a rinse in the canal. <laughs> now he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> and then we'll be on our way yeah we've loved it here we've not been able to go anywhere or walk around anywhere because uh, the weather has just been awful we've had so many storms high winds 50 55 mile an hour winds so yeah we just sort of stayed in this little bit and stayed in the warm and we're off. Slowly does it so that we don't disturb the boat next to us. It's fairly early, just after half past eight. And then it'll be one more lock, Welford lock, just the little lock. And that's our last lock of 2023. So we started at Welford and then we were going up through one lock up to the junction and then turning right to North Kilworth Marina. Everything looks so bleak. I mean, look at the look at the colour of the water. I mean, it's brown. All the water that's come off the land. We've had so much rain and so many storms, one after the other. And the wind is supposed to be picking up this afternoon to 40 mile an hour as well. Yeah, so we're making a break for it now. number one the views through there wow well, 
it's started to rain now so I think I might have to shut the crutch up and go inside or go and stand with Martin at the back with a brolly see how it goes oh there's some horses through there so we've just turned out of the Welford Arm um, there was another boat there that we were just going round and we are now heading towards the marina. The rain is in the air at the moment. It's the 30th of December today, so almost at the end of the year. In fact, this is our last cruise of 2023. Bridge 43. Again, I think this is our last bridge of 2023. So it's got quite cold now. You can see by our breath, it is freezing and there's rain. You can probably see on my glasses. Um, it's like really, really fine rain and it is freezing. So not long now and we're gonna be moored up in North Kilworth. So and we'll hook up and we'll get all the all the heating on so yeah it is rather cold at the moment so i don't know who's colder martin standing at the back or me standing at the front <laughs> i might go and join him in a minute I thought i'd come and say hello to you dear really <laughs> it's freezing it is cold <laughs> and it's that fine horrible that's what i just said in the camera earlier is it oh, that yeah. really fine, fine rain horrible rain Get <laughs> but the marina is there to our left so just round the bend in front and we'll be pulling in so do you want me to go back to the front of the boat again yeah clear off <laughs> thank you <laughs> love you really. love you too so here we go back into north kilworth marina <laughs> and as is usual the wind has picked up <laughs> And as usual, Martin's done it spot on. So, we are going in behind that boat there. We're going in down through there. At this point, Martin tried to turn the boat, but the wind was having none of it and it completely ended up slamming us against the pontoons. Um, I had to put the camera down for safety's sake. So Martin ended up driving in forwards and this was the aftermath. So where do I start? Everything's on the floor. The Christmas tree is upside down in a box. It's putting itself away. Thankfully, the soldiers and the glass ornaments are okay. But what a mess that is. Lovely. We had a lovely time over New Year at North Kilworth. Um, we got to catch up with friends, there was live music. It was really great seeing in the New Year. But all too quickly it was time for us to leave. So we were going to fill up with diesel and then take our first cruise of 2024. So we're now springing off from the front. Jed's got hold of the rope at the front, he's holding that, while Martin uses the engine to spin round. Because we had to fill up the front diesel tanks as uh, the hose wouldn't have reached once we get into the channel. That's working really well. Martin. Look at that. And when he's lined 
up completely straight, you can just drive straight in. Perfect. And that is called using a spring. With the rope at the front. There you go. Lovely jubbly. filled up with diesel. So once again using our trusted Pearson guide maps we went from North Kilworth Marina, we turned left, we went down through Husband's Bosworth Tunnel and along to Bridge 50. So bye bye North Kilworth Marina yet again. We do love it here. People are so nice, always so welcoming, lovely. Martin may be sounding the hooter in a minute because we're going out, back out onto the cut. <coughs> and out we go, this time we're turning left. going to be heading towards Foxton Locks but we're going to go through Husband's Bosworth Tunnel and hopefully more up near Bridge 50. So this is our first cruise for 2024 and <laughs> as is usual it's just starting to rain. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> it's a little bit tight up here just enough room for one boat so we should get through. How cute is that? Dinky little boat there, look at that. So sweet. And this is North Kilworth Wharf. Typically we leave the marina and it starts raining so we may have to swap hats I think. But uh, oh well, first cruise of 2024 in the rain. Why not? <laughs> so this is bridge number 45 and we are heading for bridge 50 but we do have Husband's Bosworth Tunnel to go through in the meantime. not the best weather to cruise in it was supposed to have been sunshine today and it should have stayed dry but uh, hey ho <laughs> adds to the adventure I suppose <laughs> Look at all the water coming in wow we've had so much rain everything is swollen I don't know if it notices on here but the water is so high the water level and there's so much debris and logs and branches in the water and obviously a lot of water has come down off the land you can really see look at it it's just brown awful wow Yeah, it's really, really wet and miserable, but uh, we should be coming up to the tunnel shortly and then uh, it may be a bit drier in there, we'll see. But yeah, it's really bleak. lots of debris in the water look at this wow wow can't believe how dark it is for some reason the camera is making it look quite bright but it trust me it is dull and dreary oh lovely the wind's picking up as well we can hear it in the trees 
see some casualties of the storm the recent storms that we've had look at these trees where they've broken off look dear as you can see on the camera but these trees here are completely overhanging we're having to go along the left hand side i mean they're all looking quite precarious the way they're leaning and uh, the wind seems to have picked up which is a bit bizarre it's not supposed to be windy today and it's supposed to be sunny no no rain so they were telling porky pies so here we go I'd imagine Martin will sound his horn. <coughs> nice overhanging branch that we're going to hit. Oh, a duck. And in we go. Wow. Well, at least we can see the other end not a very long tunnel this one 1174 yards I believe I will double check that oh lovely it's a drippy tunnel <laughs> we are getting rather wet in here quite cold in here. You can see our breath. So, but, uh, yeah. It's actually warmer in here than it is outside though, to be fair. Oh, here we go, going to get wet again. Whee! Unfortunately, there's literally nothing to film in here. As tunnels go, this one's quite boring. So, yeah, sorry about the smoke in front of the camera, but it's actually my breath, so. As I breathe out, you can see. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is very cold in here, very cold. Should be coming up to halfway just about now. I think it's here somewhere, is it? Yes, there it is. Halfway, halfway mark. So we are now on our way out. Imagine how long that would have taken to have done the brickwork. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Martin's actually singing at the back of the boat. So uh, he's obviously starting to enjoy it. Oh, it's getting rather loud here. I'm not sure why. I think we're going to get wet. Oh, look. There's lots of water coming in here, Matt. Oh, my goodness me. Look at all this water. Jeepers. Oh. <laughs> so, word of warning, Martin's going to be doing the hooter soon. Not long now. Try not to talk because of the breath in front of the screen. actually brighter and it stopped raining well that's something wow glad to be out <laughs> I'm hoping the camera's picking this up but look at the amount of water that is coming off of the land there look at that goodness me it's like a waterfall 
Crikey! Good Lord! liking the look of that towpath I'll be honest so I'm hoping that where we're going to moor up the towpath isn't going to be quite as bad as that Ooh. yuck well it feels quite good at the moment because we've filled up with water we've filled up with diesel we've got rid of our rubbish we had a new gas bottle and we had a pump out so we had everything so the full set so we should be re we should be fine for the next couple of weeks the only thing we didn't manage to do was stock the, the kitchen cupboards up but hey well look we've got more water coming down goodness me this is crazy look at this Wow. And this here is supposed to be where water drains off and still there's water coming in. I mean, you know, the water is so, the water levels are so high at the moment. The water's got nowhere to go absolutely nowhere to go surely we can't have any more rain well, that was bridge 46 <laughs> laffy chaffy there look <laughs> yes <laughs> look another lot goodness me wow Well, it's been an interesting couple of days in North Kilworth. We've come out of the marina now. Well, I think we've spent how many days? Uh, one, two, three, about three, or three days. I can't quite remember now. Um, but we've done all our bits now. Water, gas, diesel. Um, now we're back on the cut. Where we're still crap. It's part of boating, isn't it? Um, Nice little bridge behind me, just a pipe bridge 46A heading towards the Foxton Locks. I think we're going to try and head up towards possibly bridge 50. Anchor down there for a few days and then probably end up near the top of the locks, bridge 60, in a few days' time. It's very mucky. lovely at all it's freezing cold we've got the wrong clothes on <laughs> sorry oh you've got the right coat on i haven't <laughs> got the I wrong hat the on right wrong coat on freezing the sun came out i took chick got changed and uh you really thought it was going to be sunny today it was oh. supposed to be sunshine today and it wasn't supposed to be windy and it certainly wasn't supposed to rain or for you then no, no idea. Sound like, a... Sound like a train, fog or yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of that log. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty good, isn't it? That is a big log. <laughs> that's a <laughs> bridge bridge 50 we can see from here and then we're mooring up so brilliant and i'm not not being funny but you know lovely animals it's the ladies it's the ladies <laughs> but boy they stink good lord we're downwind 
Mr. Ladies. It's going too late now, we'll start looking for more. Yeah, here we are, Bridge yeah. 50. Lovely. Nearly there. Hiya. You alright? <laughs> and this is where we're going to moor. Look at that. Beautiful. I decided to make an apple loaf. I see someone waving a flag right over there. Yeah. Not sure what's going on over there, but it's a shoot of some sort. Something's definitely going on over there. But look at that sunset. Look at that. Oh, I'm happy with that one. Very nice. This was our stunning sunset, but we're going to leave you with the sound of the owls later that night. It was fantastic. See you next week. Amazing.